Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering one of the Odin project exercises, and that is the remove from array exercise. I personally think that this exercise was really difficult, and many others doing this, doing the Odin project, thought the same too. However, I found out that you can't really find a lot of useful resources on YouTube to explain and go through many of the exercises on the Odin project so I thought that it would be nice to cover this example exercise on YouTube. So here we go. In this exercise, we are supposed to add an array as an argument and then we can add a number of other arguments and if these arguments match with any of the numbers in the array, we are supposed to remove the number from the array. So alright, let's start this example. So in this function, we are supposed to pass firstly the array, so maybe passed array. Next, we want to pass in the extra arguments. So how are we supposed to do that? If you do a little bit of digging online, you'll be able to find out that dot 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 args will enable you to add extra arguments that are optional into your function and function. I think dot 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 anything here is enough, but I'll just put like args here. We can test out later on if we can add anything. Uh, yeah, so um, now we have the past array and let's just test it out. Okay, so console.log past array. Okay, so here I'll teach you guys a neat little trick, and that is if you comment this out, you can basically um, run this JavaScript file on VS Code. How? you can remove from array and add in an array one two three four and then how do you run this file you can do a node remove from array dot js and there you go uh, this works because we installed node.js in uh, one of the previous lessons and yeah so you can use this to just debug on your own the file and I found this to be really helpful. Alright, so um, now we have that, we pass the array and actually we can pass other numbers as well and just to double check you can console.log args, okay, and there you go. Um, actually, let me just try to change the name. Let me see if it still works. So yeah, there you go. So as long as you add these three dots, that just means optional, unlimited arguments. Alright. Um, okay. So yeah, let me just remove some of the numbers here. Okay. So now we have the argument that we passed in as... Uh, we have the array that we passed in as well as the optional arguments. What we have to do here is we have to loop through the array and then check if the extra arguments includes the numbers in the array. So um, past array dot for each. Okay, so um, this is a function that you can use. Um, to loop through all the numbers, all the items in the array. So um, looping through the items in the array, you can use any name here, okay. So looping through all the items in the array, we want to check if uh, any of the arguments match the items. How we do that is um, if args dot includes items okay so um, args dot includes we'll just check if uh, throughout 
the argument object does any of the uh, numbers inside the argument include uh, include the item that is being looped through and uh, if it is not true meaning none of the um, none of the arguments is matching the items then we want to um, create we, so before that we want to create a new array so new array and this is gonna be empty in the beginning and then we are only going to populate this array with the uh, items that are not matching the optional arguments that we are passing in so how we do that is new array dot push items okay as simple as that um, now we just return new array dot push sorry new array and yeah that's about it now we can try to console dot log and see what we get okay um, yeah okay let's try so yeah we are left with 3 and 4 because we passed 1 and 2 we'll be getting 3 and 4 in the end all right okay so um, now let's uh, test this JavaScript file with the um, test file okay so how we do that is here npm test npm test then we have remove from array spec js all right so um, it's running one filled what what did it fill Remove from array is not a function. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot to uncomment that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Run again. Okay, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> I figured out that I forgot. You, you need this <laughs> because they mentioned do not edit the below line. I edited it just so that we can run uh, the JavaScript file on the VS Code. So yeah, um, the first test passed, uh, and then yeah, we can just run the next few tests. All right, so there we go. npm test. All right, so all passed. Um, that's all. Uh, I hope you understood something from this lesson. If you like this video tap the like button tap the like button um, if you need help with any of the if you have any questions for this exercise comment down below and yeah uh, subscribe if if you enjoyed what you, what you watched and see you guys on the next video bye bye